And now we are going to enter an area of Adrian's house that has not been touched since 2010. Adrian's room of doom. A despicable den of iniquity, consisting of his bicycle, an ironing board, two rebellious Mancunians and a duvet. Delving deeper into the room of doom, an embarrassing area of Adrian's life, we see a collection of alien artefacts that have now been forgotten about. As we pan around, we see images of Glastonbury underwater. Now moving deeper and deeper into this Amazonian region, we see the full impact of an environmental disaster. Come with me as we move now into the inner region where we see a collection of PlayStation 2 games that was never put on eBay due to Adrian's laziness. We tread carefully over this central area. Now we see a proliferation of Games Workshop shit, Family Guy DVDs, a magazine from when Adrian thought he'd teach himself the electric guitar. Then he realised it's a really shittest instrument that's very, very difficult to learn. As we see now, more Banksy, Banksy and Banksy art. Some of it falling off the wall. Now we move round to the outer area. We see more Banksy art and more Games Workshop shit. We see a, a computer... Yes, this this is a rare thing. A computer chair that he bought but never actually used. Nickel has offered him £10, but he's told Nickel to fuck off. Now we move back out of this region, see more Banksy photographs and the full extent of something that looks like it's been hit by a, an articulated lorry. Various things that have been dismantled and discarded, now forgotten about. We nearly fall <laughs> over a slippery bag as we move away from the duvet and the laundry bag and back out of this environmental hell. This is the room of doom that Adrian hopes will influence the valuer next Tuesday to value his house at less than 10,000.